Hare Krishna, everybody, uh, your servant, Aniruddha Prabhu, um, reporting on uh, or thanking everybody for the festival season that we've just celebrated. We had a wonderful Janmashtami and Radhashtami. And um, I think everybody had a fantastic time. I certainly did. I'd um, like to thank all of those devotees who worked hard behind the scenes to keep everything running smoothly especially the devotees involved in uh, the deity worship, um, those who sow the sets, Bhakti and Madhuri especially, uh, here in Melbourne and out in Wyndham. And the cooks, um, Yogeshwar Govinda and his crew, um, who prepared wonderful prasadam and, uh, um, and ensured that it was distributed liberally to all of our guests, um, also the team out at um, Wyndham who did a fantastic job and had to cook more than they anticipated so they were they were rushed and also for the prashadam distributors down in Casey. I'd um, like to bring to everybody's attention that um, or at least let everybody know we're going to start work on the kitchen. Our plan is to finish off the Didi kitchen by the end of the year um, that will mean moving the prashadam hall from upstairs closer to the kitchen, which makes a lot of sense and one of the reasons why we're doing it. So the prashadam will be served in what's now the old Bogut storage area. We'll be knocking out the walls between what's now the theatre and that Bogut storage area so we can serve in that what will be the servery and people will be able to honour prashadam in what's now the theatre. And, of course, we can still use the current prashadam hall and out in the garden for prashadam distribution. So keep an eye out for that work. It will mean a certain amount of inconvenience because we're going to have to close off parts of Prabhupada House um, for um, usage and it won't be a thoroughfare. So there will be some disruption when that work starts. But the goal is to have the kitchen complete and functional by the end of the year. Um, and one of the reasons why we're doing that and why we have to do that is because we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the opening of the temple next year on May the 18th. And so we want to make sure that we've got everything in ship shape order for that celebration. Um, another um, interesting uh, project that we're working on is the Rathcart. Um, the Rathcart is being built, start, construction started this week at New Govardhan. Um, Ajit sent us some pictures and um, they, a few a couple of months ago they bought a, an old Volvo truck for $5,000 and have dismantled that. The interesting feature about this truck is it's one of those trucks which has four wheels at the front and each of those wheels turns and it's a fairly large vehicle. So they've taken those wheels off, taken off the chassis, reconnecting the wheels with an extended axle so that um, the rough cart that they build, that will be the basis for the rough cart that they're building for us, that will mean that all four wheels can be turned. And that way that cart will then turn in a much tighter turning circle, which is handy for us because um, that's always an issue at the St Kilda Festival when we get to the end of the parade and turn around. It's a bit of a tight turn, so that will make that um, turning a lot easier. So... Um, that rough cart we hope to have finished also by the end of the year and down here in Melbourne so that we can prepare it for the St Kilda Festival. Uh, having our own rough cart means that we'll save $10,000 a year from having to transport the Govardhan cart down to Melbourne and it will also mean that we'll be able to um, enter that cart in other uh, community events like Moomba and the Benigo Easter Festival and um, other events that we have, even the Holy Festival that we have in Casey and at Torquay, we can bring along the rough cart 
and make that part of the day's um, festivities. And um, the other thing that I wanted to mention was Govardhan Puja is being celebrated this year at Timbiyard. And we're planning to have a combined Govardhan Puja and Diwali event. Um, the schedule for that event is yet to be announced, but um, we wanted to let everybody know Govardhan Puja won't be at the temple. It's going to be off-site at the Timber Yard. We're working out the details now so that we can celebrate the Kirtan and the circumambulation of Govardhan Hill, the sweet distribution, have some entertainment, uh, have a, a Pushpa Abhishek of Siddharam Lakshman Hanuman, um, which everybody can participate in, um, uh, offering of lamps and um, possibly fireworks. There's a few things we're discussing at the moment, um, bringing some bringing the calves down from the farm so we can also have a go puja and um, prashadam stalls so that we can distribute prashadam and also raise uh, some funds to cover the cost of the events. Um, now we're uh, renting out these larger venues uh, to accommodate thousands of people. We're moving into a bigger league of uh, um, expense, unfortunately, and so we need to think of ways to also cover those costs. So at Timber Yard, we have a great opportunity there because we can have prashadam stalls and um, sell prashadam. We'll distribute the sweets from Govardhan Hill freely, um, but also be able to raise some funds to keep that event afloat. So looking forward to announce that. Um, stay tuned for more details. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.